what's new in ER Studio 18.3. Okay, so in this release for Data Architects, first thing is, is Postgres support. So we're now supporting the newer versions of, of Postgres from 9.5 through, through to 12. I think the big thing is it's now a core platform. And as you know, we've got standard platforms where we can reverse engineer um, from a database and we can forward engineer to, to SQL. With our core platforms, we go a little bit further. We can also import from a SQL file. And we can also, from the compare merge tool, generate out uh, alter scripts. So that's really useful for the change process. So as databases change, um, we can compare um, a physical model with a live database and export all the changes as alter statements to update the database. We've also done a lot of work on, on data types, and we're going to be doing a lot more in the next release as well. Um, so, as you know, Postgres has a huge number of, of data types in there. So we support most of them. There's a few that we, we don't support. Um, in the next release, we're going to also add in some new logical types to really take advantage of, uh, of some of the Postgres data types. We've got special functionality around the serial data type. So again, as you know, um, for a primary key of an object, you can set the data type to be serial. Uh, any foreign keys that result from that primary key, uh, the tool will automatically uh, set those foreign keys to to the integer data type. Some gadgetry in there. Um, we're also supporting Postgres um, procedures and functions. We've also done some work around uh, Redshift. In the last release, we provided support for Amazon Redshift. And in this release, we're, we're continuing that, adding in support for procedures, functions, users, and schemas. We've also added a new uh, MetaWizard um, bridge pack. So there's 15 new bridges. We've got a lot of new import and export bridges, as well as some new lineage uh, bridges as well. Um, one thing uh, of note here, we've done a lot of work around data cataloging. So you can um, point MetaWizard bridges at uh, either just a simple flat, flat file uh, and reverse engineer it, or to platforms uh, like Azure, um, Data Lake, and Amazon S3. And what the bridge will do is actually crawl um, the, the platform, um, go through folder structures. It will observe things like partitioning structures and reverse engineer anything that it uh, finds and give you um, a sort of schema summary of, uh, of the files that it finds in, in, uh, in folder structures. So we've also done some work in Team Server. So the most important thing is change notifications. I'm going to give you a demonstration shortly, but um, as you know, at the moment we can follow objects within the model and uh, any comments on those objects will go into your stream. Also any comments, it will uh, email you uh, discussion. Um, what we're also doing now is if an object changes, then the tool will uh, email you to notify that the change has occurred. So this is as well as the uh, uh, the stream being updated. So this is really useful. So for those users who aren't uh, using Team Server a lot, um, they can go in and they can follow an object. So for instance, a developer who's programming against a particular table within uh, Team Server, they can follow that table and all of the columns within it. Or they can even follow an individual column or a database as a whole. And if anything in that model changes, so if the table changes or the column changes, then the tool will notify them that the change has occurred and invite them to go and look at the changes within uh, Team Server. We've also updated the, the repository, so we're now certified against Microsoft SQL Server 2019 and we run on Windows Server 2019. So let's look at a demonstration of, of notifications. So here's Team Server. Uh, I'm logged in. As you know, I've got my normal stream where any discussion threads I can see. So here I've made a comment. I'm writing code against a particular database and want to be notified if it changes. And the administrator has responded and says, yes, it now sends emails when uh, followed objects are changed. So what we've also done now is add in some new notification options. So in my settings, I go to notification and this is off by default. So if things change, then th that'll appear in the uh, in the stream here. So if someone changes an object I follow, then email me so I can switch that on. So if I go to my model, I go and find the object that I'm interested in. So there's my training database. I'm interested in the main model. I could go and look at the diagram. Here I'm just going to go straight to the model. Um, there's a particular table in this uh, database that I'm interested in. It's the employee table. I'm just going to look at the employee table. 
and you see the follow button is present on uh, the top right hand corner of all objects so I can follow this this table object and it's going to confirm do you want this object and all the child objects which in this case is all the uh, the columns and I've said yes so I'm now following this object so if there's any changes made to it then it's going to notify me so let's see that process so I've hopped over to data architects I've got the model uh, open as a different user so I can open up my employee table here and first of all we obviously got to check it out so I could attach a change record uh, to it so I've checked it out and I can go and edit uh, one of the uh, columns maybe the grade column here I'm going to change it and uh, increase the width of it to six characters click OK and then I can check it back in So that's all now check back in close my dialogues I've got auto publish uh, switched on uh, so that should be publishing to the team server core so I've just received an email now from from team server telling me that there's a change been made to a column in the database that I'm interested in so it's telling me the name of the model uh, the database the table and then the column now if I click the uh, the link here then it'll take me to the uh, page in team server uh, that contains information on the column you can see here that the data type is is character six I can go and navigate up through the model and see details of the table and the database etc okay so that's notifications so to summarize for data architects we now support the latest versions of Postgres and it's now a core product with the key features of, of course, product support, which is being able to reverse engineer a SQL file and alter script generation from compare merge. We also support additional Redshift features uh, and in team server, we've got our new email notifications for change and we're certified against Microsoft SQL Server 2019 and Microsoft Server 2019. Thanks very much and enjoy using ER Studio.